Hi there. So, a little different video. Ignore the marshmallows. I've been filming a lot of videos and I'm hungry. I don't do good videos when I'm hungry. You can see a bunch of a little bit of a mess. I've been trying to knock out a bunch of videos. I mean, that's usually never though. You know, usually this is all clean. Like, I mean, you know, trim, just a huge mess. Um, actually, let's go in the pile. So I'm running out of cool locks to pick. If anyone has any, want to send them to me, great. I'm happy to, you know, buy them from you, trade something with you, you know, work something out. But, um, next upcoming videos are going to be a lot of mortar cylinders. Um, so, I don't know what order you're going to see them in, but it's a, one video is going to be this American lock, uh, mortar cylinder, five pin. And, you know, I might mix some other things in though between these videos, but it's going to be mostly these. Another one will be this. U.S. lock with the uh, quick set keyway. These U.S. locks have pretty tight tolerances. So they're a fun pick. Um, and I'll have a U.S. lock with a Schleg C keyway. I'll do... I'm not sure if I've done this one. I don't think I have. Uh, it's a just... Six pin Y2 keyway generic mortar cylinder. See, I 3D printed a tailpiece for it. Then the my SLDF generic six pin C keyway. And I'll do these two aluminum storefront locks with the uh, Y1 keyway in one video. And I'll do these two with the C keyway in uh, this video. Hmm, much more. So we'll pick these two today. I'm pretty sure these all have standard pins, but you know, interesting side note when I got this lock. It has an impressioned key, it looks like. That's not where the key's too shiny for it to be where it looks like it's an impression key. Also, cuts are unequal, but it works very smoothly. So, I'm just going to pick these in hand. Here's the keys, interesting enough. Here's the set that came with it, and I had an OE Schleg set of keys cut to the exact same bidding. Um, I'll just go with this. Nope. Um, homemade tension wrench. And my go-to pick, my suppose, Attila. I might have overset something. These tend to not be too terribly hard of a pick, pretty loose tolerances. I say that as I struggle. Oh, there we go. We got a short hook. And that's a broken pick. I really need to clean up. Get that out of here. That's my Everest tool. My short hook. And flew from the table. I promise the videos won't always suck this bad. I 
and I'll try not to ramble so much. If you made, made it this far without seeing a lock open, thank you. Oh, oh, wait. And open. It's one. We'll pick this one. Yeah, put that in there. I'm doing all this to the camera, so. And. You know, I got a video, video idea. I got a pretty good, um, collection of mastery locks with the four pin number three cores. I'll get some of those together and we'll see how fast I can pick through it. Let's say five of them. Maybe I have more, but I know I can at least have five. And I'm playing the tension wrench out. You know what? Just for funsies. If that's even a word. I'm gonna rake here. Bogota. Light tension. You know, it's probably doing weird things with the autofocus and frame rates right now. And we're open. Um, I'll get one of these to get just to get it. You know, it's not gonna be anything special inside. I'll get it because why not? I'm feeling lazy, so slot this out. Watch the last video, you know why? Probably overkill. Right. Such a small screw. Tell you, that's the right bit. Number one Phillips. Hmm, overkill. But, you know what they say. No kill like overkill. Plug follow. Mm, I'm not expecting anything special. In fact, I'm willing to bet on all standard. That is in the wrong pin chamber. And we're eight and a half minutes already, so. Interesting enough, nickel coated pins, so probably factory pins. Can't remember if I put the drivers in this or not. Well, that's the standard brass. And you can't see it all down in my standard brass. Standard brass. Tappy tap tap, get all these springs out. And just shut out the. Just start using solid followers again. And. Standard. So. You can see all these are all standard. As the keys fall off. You know, these light. I think they're stainless or. Coated steel. Not a magnet. Oh yeah. Look at that. I actually got a magnet. Nope. Nah, eh, just coated steel. Eh, coated steel. I should 
Hey, nice, those are thought glue and magnet to one of these trays to uh, hold like tail pieces and stuff. Oh, and you got springs and stuff that get attract. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, you won't get pen. Eh, mm, well, maybe not a bad idea. Well, you're totally just looking at a bowl of marshmallows. Uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any suggestions, anything cool you want to show, just say hi. Drop in the comments, you know where they are. And I don't think I'll do all these motor cylinders back to back to back to back, because, you know, too much of the same gets boring. Or I might do two of these, something else, two of those, something else, you know, keep it interesting. I haven't picked this yet, I gotta do a video on that, so you'll see that coming up sometime soon. Uh, picked all those. Maybe I'll do a video on this if I haven't done one already. There's an interesting lock. We've all seen these. I, I think it's a 140 series. You know, we usually see them like this. You know, no security pins. Literal marshmallow coil. Prop placement, hey? Um, this one's actually solid brass and full of spool pins. Unfortunately, I don't have a key, but it's a pretty cool lock. It's an older one, that's for sure. I mean, versus, you know, what have you. Yeah, see, solid brass. Anyway, this video is getting rambly. I probably lost most of you in the first three minutes, maybe? Four if I was lucky? Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for sitting through it, and thanks for watching. Bye.